let's do shaker painting. Hi everybody, it's Lori from the Art Studio at Madison Children's Museum. Today for Mess Monsters, I'm going to show you how to do a really fun art process that we like to call shaker painting. We're going to be using a recycled coffee can. I'm using a plastic coffee can. You could also use any kind of large container that has a tightly fitting lid. That part is really important. And we're going to be painting all kinds of fun objects today. We're going to be painting these corks, these little plastic animals that I found, some puzzle pieces from a puzzle that we don't have all the pieces to, and these wooden knobs. This process works really great for painting kind of strangely shaped objects like pine cones would be a good example or little wooden shapes. Things that are kind of hard to paint in the round. And this is a project that even the youngest children can participate in because it has a very fun sensory part to it and it's not super messy. So what we're going to need to do is get our container ready. I also have a container to put my items in while they're drying. So this is a cookie sheet that I wrapped in plastic wrap so the paint doesn't get on it and that will let my objects dry. So I have my colors of tempera paint here and then this is optional but it's a lot of fun. I have some glitter and this is clear glitter which mixes with all your different colors and it doesn't have to match. So let's put some items in our shaker painter kit. I'm going to put some corks, a few of my little animals, and a few of my little puzzle pieces here. Now you don't want to fill your container too high because you want to have lots of room in there for your things to shake around and get covered with paint. Now I'm going to choose a couple colors and I'm going to add a few squirts of paint to my container. If you didn't add enough, we can come back and add some more later. So I'm doing some red and some purple. Now I'm going to put my lid tightly on my container. This is important. We want to make sure the lid is on really good. And now you can start the shaking process. See, doesn't it make a fun sound? Really younger friends love to do this part. Just make sure that lid is on really tight. And if you don't trust it, you could even put a few pieces of tape on the top. So we're going to want to shake our container around all different ways to make sure that our objects inside are completely coated. So I can flip. This could be a fun rhythm game too. You could turn on some music and shake to the music. Let's take a peek. Oh, look at this. My items are looking pretty well covered there. I think I'm going to give them a little more shape because I see some areas that still aren't fully painted. Okay, now our final step is I'm going to shake a little bit of my clear glitter on and shake my items around a little bit. And now let's put them out on our cookie sheet. And things that are stuck together, you might need to separate to let them dry without sticking to each other. We'll just separate these a little bit. Let's try another color. So I'm gonna throw in some more of my corks, some of my little people my puzzle pieces. I think this time I'm going to, without cleaning my container, just add a little bit of blue paint. And it will mix with some of the purple that's already in there. And we'll see what we come up with. All right, we ready to shake? purplish blue. Let me give it one more shake before I add the glitter. Now 
Now the glitter is optional, but it does help keep your items kind of from sticking to each other. So it serves a little bit of a purpose. I'm gonna put some of my glitter on here. It's almost like you're dusting something with flour when you're putting it. And you can use lots of other different colors of glitter if you want to. And there are my dark purple painted pieces. Now what can we do with all these cool things that we painted? They are so useful for doing all kinds of other art projects. In the art studio at the Children's Museum, we like to paint all kinds of different objects and then bring them out later when we have special projects to do. Like these painted corks can be really useful for making sculptures. These painted puzzle pieces, they're really great for making collages with. And our painted animals, they're just a fun way to use up little doodads like little uh, figurines or other things from your junk drawer. Now your shaker, you can just let it dry and you can put it away for later for the next time that you have a big batch of shapes that you want to paint together. I hope you have a lot of fun with this project. See you later.